In this lesson, we go over a concept that is needed to solve equations, and that is order of operations. Now, operations are the addition sign, subtraction sign, multiplication sign, and division sign. And sometimes we have problems where there are several of these in an equation. And the number one mistake in order of operations will happen in problems like this. Oops, way too many kids. They will jump in very quickly and go 6 plus 4 is 10, and 10 times 2 is 20. But that's not correct. In the order of operations, no, 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 no. In the order of operations, we always multiply before we add. So this has to be done first. 4 times 2 is 8, and then 6 plus 8, we bring this down right here. 6 plus 8 is 14. So there is an order that we have to follow, and this lesson is about that order. What is the correct order of operations? Now, most of the time, when we have equations, we're going to deal with multiplying, dividing, adding, and subtracting. And multiply and divide, we're supposed to do those two things before we add and subtract. So let's look here. Which comes first? Well, we're going to divide before we subtract. So we divide and get 3. Then we bring this down. 12 minus 3 is 9. Okay? Let's look at this one. We're supposed to multiply first. 10. 15 plus 10 is 25. The correct order is division and multiplication before subtraction and addition. Okay? Now, we have this symbol right over here. Multiplication and division before addition and subtraction. Now, that means we're going to do these two operations on the edge before the middle one. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Bring down the plus sign. 3 times 2 is 6. That's 11. It started out fairly complex, but then, oh, it's easy because we know our order. Okay? Now, multiplication and division comes first. Here's multiplication. So we do what's in the center first. Now that is 6. Now we're going to bring down 7 minus, and we're going to bring down plus 6. Now here comes another rule. When you have, say, addition and subtraction, when you have them on the same line, you do the one that comes first first. Okay, so as, as, as we go from left to right, the minus comes up first. 7 minus 6 is 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. And this occurred right up here also. We had, see how we have division multiplication there? We had division multiplication. This came first for when we go from left to right. So we went ahead and did this first, then this next. Okay? All right. Now, Let's, whoa, look at this one. All of a sudden, it gets kind of, kind of tricky here. Okay, now we're going to do any multiplication and divisions first. There's three of them. So as we go from left to right, we do 24 divided by 8 is 3. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 7 times 2 is 14. Then we go subtract and plus. Now we have minus and plus on the same line, so we do the first one. 2 plus 14 is 16. Okay? Let's go right down here. Any multiplication and division, we're going to do those first. And so we get 12, and we get 5, plus 13, minus 5. 
Now, plus and minus, those are on the same level. So we'll do this one first. 25 minus 5 is 20. Okay? Now, next level of difficulty, we're going to expand the multiplication and division comes before addition and subtraction. We're going to expand it with parentheses and exponents come before both of them. And if you ever have parentheses and exponents in the same line, parentheses, you will do that one first. Okay? So watch this. 3 squared plus 5 times something in parentheses. We're going to do the parentheses first. So we'll have 5 times 3. Then we'll do the exponent second. And that's going to be uh, 3 times 3 is 9. And then we bring down the plus. Okay? Now, now we look here. What, what do we do first? Multiplication. 9 plus 15 is 24. Okay? Let's go right down here. We're going to go ahead and do 4 plus 1 first. So this is 3 times 5. Now, we'll go ahead and do 2 times 2 is 4. And then we'll bring down the minus sign. Okay? So we have 20 minus 15, because we do the multiplications before the subtraction, and that's 5. Okay? All right. Once again, we're going to keep in mind, in our PEMDAS system, parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. It's right over there as a helper. Now, there's no parentheses, so we do this first. 25 minus 1 plus, let's go ahead and do, do that, uh, plus 8. Okay, now, there's minus and plus, so we do the one that comes first. That's 24 plus 8 is 32. Woo, look at this fancy thing, okay? Now, we have parentheses 25 divided by 5. That's 5 times what's out in front, 3. Bring down the plus. Now, 7 squared is 49 plus 1 plus 50 divided by 5. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, now we're going to do these before the plus. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 50 divided by 5 is 10 is equal to overall 25. Whoa, look at that. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do those. 100 divided by 25, and that's 4. 8 divided by 4, and then we put a plus here. Put the minus 7, bring that down, and then bring down 5 minus. Now, we go ahead, we do those first. 5 minus 2 plus... How many quarters in 100? 4 minus 7. Okay? So we have 5 minus 2 is 3 plus 4 minus 7 is 7 minus 7 is, out of all that, we get 0. Okay? And basically, the number one problem that will keep coming up over and over in equations, all this fancy stuff, tries to get kids to remember this. Multiplication before addition. So, 6 plus 15 is 21. Not 6 plus 3 is 9 times 5 is 45. No, 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 no. Okay? This will come first. 7 minus 7 divided by 7. That's 1. 7 minus 1 is 6. Not 7 minus 7 is 0 divided by 7 is uh, who, who knows. No, 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 no. Order of operations will really help us with these simple things once we get to equations. Thank you.